Um, firstly, can I say thank you to the uh, Academy for this most fantastic tea. Uh, absolutely brilliant. And for all of those um, who served and looked after us, I was very impressed. There's clearly a competition to see who can get the shortest tie. I'm going to practice for Prime Minister's questions, you know, and it'll be a sort of Drayton tie or North Oxford Academy tie style. Um, a few years ago, uh, we started a job club in Banbury. And the purpose of the job club was to support uh, people uh, when they got out of work and to help them get back uh, into the world of work uh, just as speedily as possible. And we started a job club in Banbury, and then we had one in Vista, and the other job clubs and work clubs started to develop around the country. And um, shortly after the general election, uh, the uh, Minister of State at the Department of Work and Pensions asked me if I'd go and see him. And he said, um, Tony, would you mind helping um, roll out, take out uh, right across the country uh, this idea of job clubs and work clubs and uh, try and get many more of them going. And I said, of course, very happy to do that. And I said, what we'll do is we can set up a national work club network. Fantastic, he said. Brilliant, I said. He said, there's only one problem. Uh, the department is so bust, we haven't actually got any money for this at all, okay? So I had to, now, I had to try and roll out all these work clubs without a single penny. Now, I have to say there are now about 700 of them across the country. But I needed to find a venue in London to have a meeting where I could at least get together um, all of those who'd shown an interest. And it just so happens um, I'm a fellow of the Royal Society of Arts, and I knew the chief executive a bit because he used to be at Downing Street. So I asked if we could um, borrow um, the uh, conference room in um, John Adams Street. And the quid pro quo for that was he said, well, look, Tony, we are trying to get networks of fellows together. And uh, it'd be good to get a network of fellows together in sort of North Oxfordshire, South Warwickshire, you know, you're, you're somewhere between um, Oxford and Birmingham. It'd be really good to do that. So the quid pro quo of um, my being able to have the founding meeting of the National Work Clubs Network at the headquarters of the Royal Society of Arts was that, to help get a network of fellows going. But that wasn't difficult because actually when they wrote out to all the local fellows, we had a founding meeting in the Reindeer pub in the center of Banbury. And I think we were all generally intrigued as to who else were fellows of the RSA. Uh, you know, David Richards from Pro Drive, a whole number of different people, different backgrounds. And it was a really uh, interesting evening. I mean, everyone there with individual skills, backgrounds, talents, experience, ideas. And um, there was, you know, a general buzz that we actually felt we ought to be doing something together. What could we do collectively um, as fellows of the Royal Society of Arts to actually contribute to the community in which we live? And um, uh, the other fellows decided this needed quite a lot more meetings at the Reindeer um, to consider. Um, I'm sure ably assisted by copious quantities of Hook Norton beer, of which, of course, the Reindeer is a a wonderful exposition of the hooky beer, but we decided collectively that what we would really like to do is to help uh, promote the best possible engagement between employers, business, industry, commerce locally, and schools. And uh, that is what this is all about. And I think the key piece of work everyone needs for, for, for this meeting is this um, document here. And I hope all of you have got one uh, in front of you. Um, because um, the Academy um, has done brilliantly in organizing um, a whole number of workshops this evening. And if you look through it, I mean, it's actually a, a fantastic um, array of things that we can all experience. And I think um, before we leave, um, I hope every RSA fellow and everyone who... Um, 
is here from employment or business or commerce, will feel able to sign up uh, to doing at least one thing uh, in this booklet. Uh, I mean, even, you know, mentoring, we can all mentor, we can all give uh, careers advice on our own areas of activity um, to start off with, but there are all sorts of other um, opportunities here. And I think there's something else also from the perspective of people in business and industry. I think we're one of the few, I think we're one of the first generations uh, in the whole of civilization uh, where um, we um, can learn or tend to learn uh, as much from our children's generation as from our parents' generation. The, the advance of technology, of information technology, of technology generally, is that in key areas very often um, though uh, those younger than us actually know more about certain technology than we do. Um, at the recent um, Banbury Business Conference, uh, which we had in Spiceball, um, one of the most fascinating talks was by a young guy who had developed a phenomenal marketing uh, tool uh, using LinkedIn. And you know, he'd been promoting businesses all around the country just using the tool of LinkedIn. My own daughter, now as an accounts director with a marketing agency which just uses social network, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and they have clients uh, like uh, Disney World. And uh, I suspect that in North Oxford Academy, there are people here amongst the, in the school who are probably much more expert on social networking than many of those in the boards of you know, leading companies in the town. And so this isn't, a, this isn't going to be a one-way process. This very often can be um, a, a, a two-way process. Um, and uh, so if one looks at many of these workshops, I suspect that employers, those engaged in business, can learn as much from those who are at school and actually in the world of education as they can from us. So there is a mutuality uh, in all of this, which I hope will be beneficial for everyone. And so, you know, I, I would hope that by the end of this evening, everyone who is here would feel able to commit to doing something on this program, that we can all take away uh, this uh, booklet and we can all give thought to other people who might be able to help. So, for example, you know, one we, we have in Banbury, for example, a very successful company uh, that does games design, which started a couple of years ago and now has, you know, uh, I mean, a phenomenal um, turnover. Um, and I'm sure if we all look through these, we can think of um, organizations, companies, individuals who might be able to help uh, with different um, bits of all of this. So could I just say um, a really big thank you to all those who put together um, this program. Uh, can I thank a, say a thank you to all those of you who've come? Um, but this is very much the start of uh, a journey. And um, um, the RSA might ask as where Banbury is. I have to tell you, Banbury is at the heart of England. Uh, it is where it all happens, okay? Um, and, um, but we are, I mean, a really interesting area. We're a really interesting area because we, we have both the benefits of being on one end edge of the knowledge sort of culture of Oxford, um, the Science Vale, um, on that end, but also being very much at the edge of the West Midlands, that end, you know, companies such as ProDrive, Norbar Tor, Crompton Technology. So we have both a manufacturing base and also a knowledge technology base um, and all of these different skills here in the town. So there's lots of opportunities of different kinds of experience uh, within uh, Banbury that we can capitalize upon. So thank you all very much for coming and I'm sure it's going to be a great initiative and I, and I hope that we could have 
a you know, further meeting like this, maybe, I don't know, in six months' time, uh, and then we can all just report back and see where we're getting to, share experiences, um, and, um, and perhaps have some of the youngsters who are involved in the project as well explaining what they hopefully they've got out of it and the involvement and so forth. So this can be a partnership that can build up over time, become stronger and stronger over time. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>